The World Health Organization says the health system in Gaza is under attack. In a post on social media platform X, WHO chief said despite all efforts by medical workers to function in deteriorating conditions, health care in the Palestinian enclave is being decimated. He reiterated his call for a ceasefire. The Israeli siege of Gaza since October the 7th has brought one out of four Gaza people to starvation as supplies of food, water, fuel and medicine are unable to reach most of the 1.9 million people displaced. Only nine of Gaza's 36 hospitals are now partially functional. All of them are overwhelmed by scores of wounded and refugees. As of December the 20th, the WHO registered 246 attacks on health care in Gaza, including hospitals and ambulances, resulting in 580 medical workers killed and 750 injur injuries. The WHO visited the Al-Shifa hospital where they described unbearable scenes of largely abandoned patients. I'm back in Al Shifa, the largest hospital in Gaza, for the third time this week, where it's still a case of absolute misery. With people still on the floors, it's almost impossible to walk. Critical cases, doctors and nurses absolutely scrambling, people crying out that they need blood for their son and daughter who are dying. There's almost nothing that this team can do, this very small clinical team can do to help all of these people. It's absolute chaos still. And actually, this is even after the hospital staff told us that the fighting has quieted down for the last few days. It's nonstop, 24 hours a day, serious and critical injuries coming in and a very small staff to help them. There is the risk of a famine here in Gaza, actually. And even here in the hospital, everybody says that they only have rice. They have very often only one meal a day uh, and they're hungry. So, you know, we've brought medical supplies here. We've brought surgical supplies here. Everybody wants food. And we're currently in the kitchen trying to find a way that we can reactivate this kitchen.